are you finding you know dif differences between say North America and Europe and Asia in terms of what they're focusing on and then how quickly they're they're deploying? It's a good question. So you know, I would say, well, well, right now, you know, m most of the world has different, you know, is is dealing with the global pandemic of COVID-19. And so clearly there are certain regions of the world that have been more impacted or, or the, the time frame of where they've been impacted is different. So you know, there's, there's places that we work with where even our, our own offices have, you know, half of our engine or most of our engineering team is in, is in Taiwan or a, a, a portion, I don't think half or most, neither of those are actually accurate, but like a, a big portion of our engineering team for our VR team is in Taiwan. And they had two weeks where they couldn't go to the office. Whereas we still have not gone back to our offices. And you know the, the roadmap on when we're going to go back out to our offices is is unknown, and that that's the case in in much of Europe. That's the case in the United States. So that has an impact in terms of VR in some ways. In some ways, it can propel the interest for VR, and then for other as, for other parts of VR, it may it may be slowing it down. So you see some businesses that are looking for how do we stay connected, how do we collaborate, how are we using creation tools, how are we all going to go in and track, you know, doing product development or you know an AEC project. Okay, let's turn to VR and do it, and then maybe they'll be, still be doing it from their homes. Um, and so we see it's, it's it's been interesting to watch those trends.